that I've been getting lately is why did I decide to be or why did I choose to be a single mother? Many many reasons is why. Um, one, I had health concerns. Two, I had a marriage that fell apart. Three, I was getting old. Um, and four was my fear of not ever becoming a mom. And being a mom has always been, you know, like <sighs> a desire of mine. Um, I never thought I would be a single mom, though. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get married when I'm 21. I got married when I was 28, 29 to the person in which I thought would be the love of my life. And we would be together forever and ever and ever because I loved her and, you know, she quote unquote loved me and love was supposed to make it work. Right? So, the marriage ended because one, we had issues in which we could never get over. And she was evil at the end oh my god like in all our relationships she never put her hands on me never not once but after i said i do after we moved into a house that we was purchasing together she wanted to change the game up she felt as though i was her property and she could put her hands on me no bitch you never put your hands on me i don't i don't put my hands on you Unless it's sexual, so don't put your hands on me unless it's sexual. Hold on, gotta drop the set off. Like, so the guy just seen me backing up. Instead of him stopping, he keep coming, but I didn't see his ass, so he pulled out after me. Like, then he get out the car like I fucking hit him. I didn't touch a fucking car. Did you hit, did you feel a bump? No. Anyway. Back to my story. My ex and I broke up and like, it was really bad for me. Like, it was really bad. Like, I was emotionally destroyed by it. Like, it was just the worst fucking breakup I've ever had. Like, to this day, I really haven't dated because of the fact that I'm not going to say I'm not over my wife, but it's just the point. Well, she's not my wife anymore. I'm not over my ex. But it's just the point that I don't want to have to learn somebody new and then have the same fucking thing happen. Like, I think it's a total waste of, you know, my time and my effort. Like, last night... I went on a date yesterday, and, you know, like, dating back in the day and dating nowadays is totally different. Like, dating back in the day, people wanted to get to know each other. Now, it's just, like, everybody want to fuck on the first date. Like, me and this girl, we went out, well, we met, I was couponing. We met, I guess when my son was, like, five or six months. Kason is a year old now, but we met, and I, I never really was feeling her, but I guess because I'm like, you know what, I'm just trying to date, let me give her a try, so she be, been asking and asking and asking and asking for us to go out, so yesterday, I was supposed to meet up with her at 7, no, I was supposed to meet, meet up with her at 3 in the afternoon. But I lost my bank card. So basically, because I left, lost my bank card, it was just like, oh my God, I got to find my bank card. I got to find my bank card. I wanted to buy, buy me a new shirt. But I couldn't find the bank card. So I didn't meet up with her until like 6, maybe 7 o'clock. <clears throat> she was like, you messed up the plans because I had plans to take you to the National Harbor, which is in D.C., I think. And I'm like, oh, my bad. Well, you know, I lost my bank card and I had to had issues with Case and Day's um, babysitter, which is never true. His babysitter most likely is always able to watch him. But we go out to Double T Diner or whatever, and you know, I'm trying to get to know her and some shit. So I'm asking, I'm asking her questions. And one, I'm a femme. I shouldn't have to be the leader of the conversation. So I'm like, what do you like? What's your favorite restaurant? 
she like and touch my legs i'm like what that mean in between your legs is my favorite restaurant well you ain't never been in between these legs so how can that be your favorite restaurant so then we get um we eat dinner or whatever so i was like um you like seafood oh no i'm allergic to seafood and in my head i'm like well fuck i'm allergic to seafood too but shit i still eat that shit what fucks me some crabs up so we eat she ordered something else because the food that she got that she didn't like it she's like oh when you come to this type of restaurant you gotta make sure you get like a burger because they be messing up you know specialty foods you know real they mess it up so it's not gonna taste good so then she half of her food i'm like you ain't even eat your food so then we leave or whatever and we get to the car well we walk i'm walking to the car i'm in the front this bitch gonna pull me back by my pants i'm like what are you doing she was like i'm just trying to hold you hold me for what motherfucker this is our first or i'm date first time going out Oh, I didn't mention earlier that day. She kissed me on my lips. The fuck? These is, you gotta work to get these lips placed on you. So anyway, go back to her house because that's where we met, met up at. We met up at her house or whatever. And she drove. So <clears throat> after we get back to her house, you know, I'm, te I'm checking on my baby. I'm like, well, how many bottles he got? He's breastfed. So I only sent him with two bottles. So... She was like, oh, he still got two bottles left. I'm like, he didn't eat. Cause I was like, I'm about to come get him. So she was like, no, he ate um, he ate real, he ate food, and he drank a little bit of his um, breast milk. So I'm like, oh, okay. So she was like, how, how long, you know, back to the girl. She was like, how long can you stay? I'm like, an hour, maybe two. So we in the house or whatever, and she's showing me that she can make beats. Bitch, this is boring. I don't want to watch you make beats. You doing anything with this motherfucking process? No. I just go up to, you know, support. So then, we is... She wanted to watch Dragon Ball Z. It was still in Jap Japanese. So you know, the si subtitles came on. Like, if it was an American, the American version, they would be talking more. So they really didn't talk on there. Um. Anyway, she started kissing on me. What? Bitch, you doing the wrong, you doing too much. So she kicking the kissing on my neck. And I'm like, okay, son, you know what? Just let it let it happen. Right? This bitch try to go down my pants. No. Get off of me. So I'm after that, I'm like, you know what, I gotta leave. I'm like, this shouldn't be happening, you know. We don't know each other like that. And it's STDs and shit out here that you can't get rid of. So she kind of got mad that I left, but I'm looking like my my baby need me. So you know, I text her um, the day or whatever. I was like, I'm not looking for a quick fuck. I need to see your test results before you do anything to me. Was I horny? Hell yeah, I was, but. Just because I'm horny doesn't mean I'm going to be fucking anybody, everybody, not no, not no first night. No, that's some shit that you did when you was younger. I'm older now. Way, way more mature. So, we'll see what happens, but I'm not pressed to talk to her again. I'm really not. But, look, I done got lost <laughs> my sort of thought. But, I'm at work now, so I'm going to upload this. I ain't going to, I don't really do no editing. But, I'll be back. They're on my lips. Bye.